that Halloween. And I know you're not going to believe that. But, um, yeah, you know, the guys that did the haunted house at, at Universal, that was their number one attraction that year, was that. This, yeah. uh, and the guy that did it went through my lyrics on every album and found the creepiest lyrics. You know, in obscure songs that never got played on the radio that I forgot about, you know, and he would find that lyric and then design a room after that lyric. You know, and he took me through it, and after about halfway through, I was going, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. You know, but this guy was way into it and really did a good job. I mean, he really did a really good job of that. And uh, thank you for playing me. No problem. You're way better looking than me, so I don't know how you're doing that. Thank you. Has anybody seen vinyl? You seen vinyl? They got a guy in there that plays me on vinyl, and uh, none of those stories are true, by the way, on vinyl. It's, <laughs> but this guy that they got to play me did a great job. He did a really good job. And he's drinking straight whiskey and talking totally. When, that, when I got the script, I said, I made little notes in the script, and I said, Mick Jagger, I think, and um, uh, Scorsese were the, sort of the, the machine behind it. And I said, okay, two things. Alice never swore. I said, so that's something that's unique. All the other guys are, ah, 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 ah. Alice never swore. I said, and he'd drink straight whiskey and you'd never hear him slur a word or stumble. And, he's, and this kid did it perfectly. He even had my laugh down. He had my laugh down perfectly. Yet I told him finally, I said, well, your nose isn't broken enough. And I have a much better golf swing than you do. So, 